Welcome to Kevels. After long times I come with new tutorial. Today I'll show you a backend build. I show you something new idea, a OS system by using Node, Express and I am building a RESTful API. In this tutorial, I build a RESTful API with OTP that means one time password. I use Node, Express and some NPM package to build it. So the video is going to be very interesting. If you are not subscribed our channel yet, just subscribe it and hit the bell icon to never miss our new idea. Let's dive in the video. Here we create a folder named auth system. I write code on this folder. Let's open the folder. We have to initialize this folder as an npm package. Open cmd in this folder. Type npm in it and hyphen y for passing some base equations. Hit the enter button. It initialized this folder as npm package successfully. We have to open this folder in code editor. Here we can see the package.json. In package.json file we have to write one script as I use node mode to starting the server. In the scripts type start node mode server.js. Now we have to install some npm package for that go to cmd. Here type npm i axios bcrypt.env express json web token lodash mongoose otp generator hit the enter button here we can see the npm installing the packages ok npm successfully installed this package here in the package.json we can see all the dependencies are listed Now create one file app.js. Here we have to write some code. First import the dependencies. const express require express const app express app.use express.json Now we have to export it module.exports app We have to create a server and connect to mongodb database. Create one new file server.js. Before writing code in server.js, we have to create one more file.env. In the env file, we keep all secret information like API, URL, port, and ZWT secret key, etc. Type in capital letter mongodb url local. It will be mongodb slash localhost colon 27 017 slash auth system port will be 3001 jwt secret key will be some text go to server.js and type require dot env slash config const mongos require mongos const app require app then create a mongodb connection Type mongos.connect process.env. Here copy the MongoDB local URL from env file and paste it. Then we have to allow some parser. Use new URL parser true. Use unified tropology true. Use create index true. Then we catch the result dot then a callback function console.log connected to MongoDB or catch a callback error console.log mongodb connection failed we successfully created the connection with mongodb now we have to create a server type const port process.env port or 3001 app.listen port callback function console.log app running on port dynamic portion port ok now check the server is running successfully here we can see the server is running but I misspell it here it will be true now it looking good now we have to create an auth system that's why we have to create three folders 
In this tutorial, we actually following the MVC architecture. Create open folder named model. Then create router. One more folder named controllers. In the model folder, create file user-model.js. Here type const curly braces require mongoose. In the curly braces, import schema and model. Const JWT require JSON web token. Const user schema schema number type string required true. Here we create our user schema. At first, we want to get just number for giving OTP one time password. Timestamps true creating time and date now we have to create a token to give the user we use jwt here's json web token user schema dot methods dot generate jwt function const token jwt dot sign id this underscore id number this number process.env copy jwd secret key from the env file and paste it here we can give the expiration time expires in 7 day then we have to create a model i export it also modules.export.users model user user schema here we successfully create the user model. We have to create a new model for storing OTP. That is OTP model. Create file OTP model.js. Type const curly braces require mongoose. In the curly braces import schema model. Here we export it module.exports dot otp model otp schema number type string required true otp type string required true now we have to delete this data after some time that is otp expirations here we want to expire an otp 5 minutes after 5 minutes this otp deleted automatically for that type create a date type date default date dot now index expires 300 seconds it means after 5 minutes it deleted automatically from the database give the time stamps time stamps true Now we have to create user controller.js const bcrypt require bcrypt const underscore require loaders const axios require axios const otp generator require otp generator I have to import user and otp model as well const user require dot dot slash model slash user model const otp require dot dot slash model slash otp model here i am create two function one for getting number and sending otp and another for verifying the otp module dot exports dot sign up async rec race callback function one more module.exports verify otp async rec res callback function then create user router.js for routing the request const router require express dot router const curly braces require dot dot slash controllers slash user controller 
router dot route slash sign up this is post request dot post sign up router dot route slash sign up slash verify this is also post request post import verify otp and insert here now exports is module dot exports router now go to app dot js and define the router first import the router from user router const user router require dot slash routers slash user router then define the post request url app dot use slash api slash user user router now we have to write the function go to user controller dot js file here write the first function const user await user dot find one number as basis reg dot body dot number if i find an user then return raise dot status 400 dot send user already registered then generate the otp one time password const otp otp generator dot generate o one six digits length otp digits will be true alphabets will be false uppercase will be false and this also will be false const number reg dot body dot number to see the otp console dot log otp create the collection const otp new otp number will be number otp will be otp now we have to sort the otp otp dot otp await bcrip dot hash otp dot otp salt type before const salt await bcrip dot gen salt 10 digits hash key now we can save it to our database const result await otp dot save return raise dot status 200 dot send otp sent successfully this function is created successfully now we have to check it go to the postman i use postman for retesting the result here the request url localhost 3001 slash api slash user slash sign up this will be post request i send a raw data from body then type curly braces number something number send the request here we can see one error i think we mistake somewhere let's investigate it here in app.js everything look good and user router.js i think i mistake here i have to give one slash before the sign of text now let's check again it's successfully run here we can see otp send successfully message in the mongo shell here also save the otp and number we make it here in the otp we can see the otp save as a hashed key now nobody can understand the otp it is being more secure now in the console we can see the otp as we print in the console now we have to write another functions for verifying the otp and also for saving users type const otp holder await otp.find number as faces reg.body.number if there is no otp in the database return raise dot status 400 dot send you use an expired otp 
Now one user can request more time to send the OTP. That's why we find multiple OTP as basis on number. But we have to check very first OTP. For that type, const write OTP find OTP holder OTP holder dot length minus one. It catch the first object from an array. Now compare it with our database OTP. Const valid user await bcrypt dot compare OTP find from request body compare with write OTP find dot OTP. Now we have to check the number as well as valid user. Type if write OTP find dot number will be reg dot body dot number and then valid user const user new user from loaders function underscore dot pick reg dot body here we pick only number create the token const token user dot generate jwt from user model dot js const result await user dot save when it is assigned as an user the otp that is stored in our database it should be delete for deleting the otp const otp delete await otp dot delete many number as basis write otp find dot number now we can return it return raise dot status 200 send message user registration successful token will go as token data will go as result now write else value for this if statement else we return an error message return raise dot status 400 dot send your otp was wrong now let's check it at first create the otp otp sent successfully now check in database we can see it now one more post request to sign up and verify in the body we sent raw data select.json type numbers something number otp first i test by giving an wrong otp message we can see your otp was wrong now give the original otp and send we can see user registration successful but here we can see the token i think i mistake somewhere let's see it in user model.js file here i have to return the token okay fine now i have to implement sms gateway for sending sms with otp here i use one local sms gateway for sending the sms you can use any sms gateway in the sms gateway read the documentation from documentation i copy the user's code and let's paste it token can find from here the sms gateway number will be number and the message contain the otp send request for otp here in mobile screen i show you we can see the message come successfully with one time password let's verify it give otp here and send it we see successful message great we successfully create the our system manually you can use it for your backend app thanks for watching subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss our new idea mm -hmm.